Now, one of the reasons I never have review, uh, <laughs> reviewed Lafroig is because this whiskey started off as something which I really liked. But then as time passed on and as I tried more whiskies, I found that this was, it came kind of down. This is Lafroig Select. I, um, this is something I just tried like, I think in June or July. And uh, Lafroig is an Islay whiskey, Islay single malt scotch whiskey. Now what is the most unique aspect of this whiskey is because is that this is the best damn smoky whiskey in the world. I also have a Lafroig QA cask here with me. If you know anything about me, you would know that I am a bit of a cheapskate. I would never buy two bottles of the same. However, I want to tell you guys, this is my fourth, this is my fourth bottle of Lafroig, or fifth. I was gifted also one, once upon a time. And fifth bottle of Lafroig, what do I say, man? Why do I like Lafroig? It's the bop of all smoky whiskies. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for... For a change, I'm gonna have it neat. I'm gonna try both these whiskies, the QA cask as well as the select neat. I normally don't have neat because I'm a bit of a cheapskate. So that's the select whiskey which goes in first. I got this for 3,800 rupees from L1. So of the two whiskies, I want to say that, um, okay, so you have the QA cask, the QA cask version right here, and then you have the select version right here. This has 40% alcohol and this also has 40% volume. Um, of course, I've tried them before. I'm not going to tell you which one I like more, but uh, since we have select in front of us, I'm going to take a sip. Let's see how it goes. Wow. I think it's a good decision to have Lafroig um, neat because um, it goes down rather well. If you talk about just the, the smell of it, because it's a smoky whiskey, it has a lot of um, spirit essence in it. It's very medicinal in terms of its taste and smell. It's almost like there's something dark out there. Something which would be enjoyed more in cold weather. And it's, it's authentic. Now let's go to the... This is the QA cask version. This is also one liter bottle. Okay. The QA cask version, just on the nosing alone, it looks like it definitely has more um, saturation. It looks like this QA cask definitely has more, uh, um, I don't know, it seems to be more nascent to the nose. Wow, tastes absolutely amazing. This tastes more medicinal, the select version. The select version of Lafroig, I would, I want to say, is also closer to the original Lafroig. I think the original Lafroig uh, is probably the best Lafroig. Uh, you have the QA cask and then you have one more version, the name of which I'm forgetting. And the QA cask definitely is more uh, romantic. It is more aromatic. It seems to possess more of a bacon uh, gourmet uh, kind of uh, an appeal. If we just look at uh, the back of the QA cask, it says the first mat maturation of QA is in X bourbon barrels, followed by transfer to new American white oak barrels. The second intense maturation creates a blend of peat smoke balanced with warm, uh, spicy vanilla notes. Peat smoke with warm, spicy vanilla notes. Very warm, I would say. The length of this time, this powerful stage. The length of time this power form natural color, I didn't know that. But the QA cask is definitely more aromatic. 
Um, it's more cigar-like if you're a cigar smoker. One of the reasons I don't like Lafroig anymore is probably because I don't smoke cigarettes. You know, if you smoke cigarettes, these go absolutely brilliantly with that. If you are a cigarette smoker, this could probably be your best, best, either of these could be your best whiskey ever. I love doing this because it just looks so good on my screen, you know. Now going back to the regular, the regular, the regular, regular, regular Lafroig uh, Select. Has a thinner taste profile. This, this special Lafroig is created from carefully selected casts of each of our key styles stretching back in time with one notable addition. The heart of the spirit is drawn from the final maturation in new American oak casks, Le rarely used for Long story long, I want to say that both of these are very appetizing when consumed neat. I strongly recommend you having uh, this neat. Uh, one of the reasons you may not want to order this neat is that at a Delhi club, if you order something like this, uh, you're looking at at least 800 rupees for a 30 ml plus taxes plus service charge. So you're looking at 1,200 per 30 ml drink. Order four of that, and you are probably four, five, four thousand rupees down. So I would, I would rather suggest that you go and get a bottle from Gurgaon Well One. Now I'm going to add some ice. Be right back, guys. So another thing I want to say that if you are going to be having this for the first time, I strongly suggest you put some ice and put this, have this on the rocks, and let it sit for three minutes before, so you can really feel the essence of the drink. Having it neat is all cool. But uh, realistically, uh, I think you want to have a dash of ice with this. Okay, so we've let this drink sit for a bit. Just ice, I haven't added any water. Okay, it, it's getting a little, it's, it's, it's becoming a little, little friendly, friendlier than before. Not too friendly, but definitely the Select, the Lafroig is becoming more friendlier. Water definitely adds volume and by adding volume you feel a little more relaxed. I don't know, I somehow can never have whiskey neat. I don't understand how people do that. Hats off to people who have it neat. Um, yeah man, it's too, too expensive to be had neat. You won't even know what's happening. And it'll give you a headache before you know it. That's probably why wine gives me a headache. So QA cask, I'm worried about this one because this is smashing. This is like a pretty smashing drink QA cask. So right off the bat, I want to say that the QA cask, I, I think it'll probably appeal to um, blended lovers a little more because of its thick volume nature, plus the fact that it has been matured and it has in, in, intense flavors of peat smoke and warm vanilla. So um, all you Macallan fans of single malt Macallan, all you fans of uh, Chivas Regal, you may like this. Um, also it has... Uh, it will have a smoother transition into the QA cask because it's a bit more thick, it's more voluminous. Whereas the application of the Lafroix Select, I find it to be a little thinner, a little more medicinal, a little more slippery to the tongue. Also a little bit more like an elixir, a little more mysterious. Overall very well grounded both of these bottles are. I struggle to think of whiskies which can compete on this level because or it could be because I haven't tried many but of all the ones which I have tried I don't think there are any better Islay whiskies out there although there are videos where you'll see 8 or 9 or 10 of them but how accessible are they in this year nation India man that I can advocate them justly even Lafroig is a bit of a novelty to be fair now I did have some water so might as well, I'm, I'm feeling a bit parched. Now the good thing about Lafroig is that um, it's, it's best consumed with as little water as possible. Yes, I'm a very watery guy, probably that's why I haven't been that super friendly with Lafroig of late. Also the fact that my better half or equal half, whatever domesticity you belong to, my equal half seems to like Lafroig more. 
So uh, I sometimes just want to give let, let her have it so I can have my different whiskeys. So, but I don't know what it is. I, I, I love Laphroaig. I absolutely love Laphroaig, but somehow I'm coming off it. But that could be because I'm a whiskey reviewer and I like to try a bunch of uh, stuff available out there. So overall, I want to say, uh, if, you want, if you go to some bar and you order Laphroaig, you're gonna have a good time. If you uh, want to get a bottle, I would strongly suggest you either start with the Select or you start, because this can be very polarizing, mind you. I said QA cask is good, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's a very polarizing drink. So if you wanna have something which is unique in itself, get the regular Laphroaig. I'm forgetting what the name is. I'll put it right here in the bottom using FCP. So um, thank you for watching my review for Laphroaig. Um, the pros of this whiskey is the fact that it is unique in its essence. It is amazing for smokers. It is amazing for, for ex-smokers who missed the smoke. I think it has a very different, unique style and temperament. And this uniqueness alone is big ups to them because a lot of whiskeys are unique, but they are aimless. Lafroig, despite its uh, clinical, medical, medicinal nature, I think it stands out from the crowd just because of its presentation and the way it hits your tongue. This is an assault on the tongue that you will savor for many a day to come. Okay, dude, I'm so not used to speaking in English anymore. Thank you for watching. God bless me. I'll see you guys when I do. This was a review for Lafroig. Go get yourself a bottle. This is amazing, man. Bye now.